Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a uh, video to uh, show you how to use your USB uh, thumb drive on Windows 8. How to extract the information on it and how to put information on your USB drive. So, uh, first of all, you uh, insert your USB key in any USB ports on your Windows machine. I've got this little one here which is a very small one on the keys. Um, I insert it and you'll have a uh, recognition that something was inserted and we'll actually increase the sound make sure and here it goes I insert and you've heard that little confirmation there now two things can happen when you insert those this USB key already was used before and what's interesting about that is that instead of showing me or asking me what I want to do it does what I asked it to do last time. But one thing that you might have is actually a little uh, window might show up on the upper right corner of your screen and it will say tap here to see what happens with your USB key and you'll tap on that and of course you'll uh, click on the open files in the choices and you will of course uh, go into the file explorer and see what's on your USB key and here if I click anything uh, for example, this little image there is from my USB key. So you access your USB key, uh, as you can see, from the desktop version of Windows 8, where you have the File Explorer. Now, if you want to put, for example, these are pictures, and I want to put them in the picture folder of my computer, what you can do is actually click on the pictures and just slide them on the pictures folder. And if you want to have all of them, what you do is you click, you hold, and you just go over all of the files. So it's going to select all. One easy way, if the click and slide is kind of difficult because some people have difficulty, what you can do is actually, actually click one and then do control A, which means control all and then you'll have selected all the files then what you do you click on one any one of the blue files that you selected hold the button and just slide it for example on my pictures and there all of those files will be sent on the pictures folder of your computer if you want to re erase or view again what's on your drive keep uh, in mind that they show the drive shows up in the left panel here and this one was a verbatim and you can see that it's right here verbatim E and I'll click on it and I'll see once again what I have on it now suppose I want to delete these files all I have to do is you can do the same little thing as earlier click on one then control A to select everything right click and just you choose the delete in the list you have delete there so you want to delete these eight items and you say yeah now I've emptied my USB key what if I want to do the reverse instead of taking from the USB key I want to put in uh, on my USB key instead so what you do is you go into your folder where you want you have all the information so for example We'll take the pictures that I just put in the My Pictures folder and put them back on the USB key. So what you do is you go into My Pictures or whatever place you have your documents or, or, or that you want to put on your USB key. It can be music, it can be almost anything. And so once you're there, click one, control A if you want to select everything. You can also select only a few by uh, you know holding on the control key and clicking only the ones you want to be put on your USB key. So like that, you can have only a few files. And if you have only one, you just click on it and slide it on the verbatim or on the USB key of your choice, depending on what you have on your computer. So here, I will choose everything, Control A, and I'll just slide those right there on my USB key which is a verbatim in my case once that is done if you click on your USB key you should see all your files there 
Keep in mind that if you have big files to put on the drive, it can take a long time, and but you'll see a progression. So for example, if I take a two gigabytes file, it might take several seconds to actually uh, go to the key or come from the key into the computer. And you'll see a little presentation, a little window that's gonna show up and show you, tell you all the progression of how long it takes um, and the speed and um, megabytes per second of the transfer between the USB key and your computer. So this was uh, basically how to use the key. Now what do you do to eject the key? And that's the very very important feature of the USB keys. Is that before you want to take it out of your USB uh, port, you need to eject the key. Um, two ways to do that. You can either go on the bottom into the taskbar at the bottom and click that little, if you don't see the icon in the, behind the little arrow on the right pane, you'll see one that's kind of a USB jack with a little check mark on it and it says safely remove hardware and eject media. So you can click that and select your USB key from that list. You can also go into the left pane if you're still in the file explorer, right click on the USB key and do eject. So whatever way you do it, it's okay as long as you do it. And why do you have to do that? Is because if your computer is for an, for example, writing a file on your uh, on your drive, and you might tell me, yeah, but I don't understand. I'm not transferring anything. Yes, that's true. But your computer might want to make a check on your USB key for an example for uh, you know a standard little check, or maybe one of the programs that you actually use is still holding on to one of the pictures or one of the files on that key. And what happens is if you just take out the key, it might corrupt the system file from your USB drive. So it's important um, to actually eject all USB keys before you take them out of your computer um, or else you can lose all the data and if there's no copy of that data except only on your USB key, you might actually lose all of that information. So uh, if you enjoyed these videos on Windows 8 and learning more on Windows 8 and maybe you have that new machine that you want to uh, learn how to use, well, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. And of course, you might uh, have a video you'd like to see so let us know if you do and we'll try to put a video online just for you. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye bye.